Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's June week two and so time for another recycle, repurpose and reuse project. I'm going to be working in my usual scraps journal again um, this week. This is what I like to do for this particular project. Now I got asked a question last week, when uh, last month, um, when I did this project here as to how it related to the prompt recycle, repurpose, reuse everything about this journal here is junk um, recycled pieces of, of paper just you know repurposed projects all of that kind of thing so you know it really really does fit the prompt perfectly now I'm going to use this piece that I did last month for um, inspiration thank you so much to everybody who viewed um, last month's project I think I got something like four and a half thousand um, views on this particular piece um, I love it it's just gorgeous but but I want to work on this piece of brown packaging here. Now, again, this is um, a recycled piece. It's just um, a scrappy old piece of um, packaging paper. In fact, I've probably used it as a, a piece of drop paper because I can see paint smeared on it already. Um, but I want to try and get this to tie in with the piece that I did last month. Now, I've got um, an idea in my head that um, I want to add um, some folds on each side here um, that I can tuck things into now there we go I'm not going to measure anything that's just um, you know ridiculous isn't it are those there or there oh gosh that's um that's not too bad um and to tie in with all the gold and everything that I've got on this piece here I've got some um tissue paper which I think I want to glue down to the the side something like that so I'm just going to grab a prit stick and a piece of deli paper so here's a piece of deli paper whoops I think I've just knocked the camera apologies for that um, so I've got a piece of deli paper here let me just grab a glue stick and I'm just going to apply some glue I'm just using the deli paper here to make sure that I don't get um, anything stuck to the under underside so I'm just going to apply some glue all the way around um, these I like these glue sticks they're a bit gloopy um, but they're permanent glue sticks and I've had never had anything come unstuck I buy these in a pack of 24 I do believe from Costco for about 10 or 11 pounds so you know they're really cost effective for me to use so let's just grab this tissue paper um, and let's Start off at the top. I don't want to waste any. Whoops, a daisy, and I'm just going to glue that, glue that down. I can trim around the edges if I've got um, any overhang, which I probably will have. So there we go. We'll just stick that down like like that, and I want to do exactly the same then on the other side here as well. So I am just going to go away and trim this off. So the easiest way to trim it is just to cut it pretty much to size like this so that you've got a more manageable piece to work with there we go move that out of the way um, then I'm just going to trim the back and then I can trim the sides as well so that's how it looks um, and I just think that works really nicely um, with all the gold it's just kept it all in keeping um, so I'm just going to go away now and sew all the way around with my sewing machine because I've got quite um, a lot of stitching going on um, in the journal so far and I just think it will add a bit of interest to the back as well so here we go I've sewn my little folder together so I've got my pockets here I've got no idea what I'm going to pop in them as yet but that's how that looks and I think that works really well with the gold that's on this page now I can honestly say that beyond um, putting this polka dot tissue paper on I had no plan for this week whatsoever um, I've just been rushing around all week and haven't had time to really think about it but I just know from experience that you know if you stuck for ideas do something even if you you know you've only got something as simple as putting some tissue paper down do it um, because then as if by magic ideas start to come to mind and so I've now got a plan so I'm just 
just going to pop that to one side and I'm just going to shoot off now and grab some supplies. Okie dokie, now the idea I had was using my homemade jelly plate. Mine is really pitted and old. Um, I made it several years ago following Lindsay Wyrick, the Frugal Crafters recipe, so I'll leave the link to her video in the description box below. But I thought this would give me some really nice texture, so I've just given it a quick try um, just to make sure that I don't um, mess up my page. So I'm going to use some of these um, acrylic paints here. The, this, uh, this one here is golden, the rest are um, deco art paints which are slightly more fluid um, than regular acrylics which is why I'm using them. You could water normal acrylic paints down if you, if you wanted to but not really important. Um, in fact that one has dried up so I'm just going to use this regular white paint here. Be careful not to add too much Nina. Right okay let's um, dot this around and what I am going to do is just mix this first just because my jelly plate um, is is pitted um, so you know I don't want some um, sort of blobs um, circles I, I want the, the paints to mix isn't that a gorgeous colour mix I just really really like that um, so there we go that's what I've got so far let me just um, rub that off I've got a scratch piece of paper here to my left now here is my little folder I've popped a piece of copier paper um, inside it just to protect the inside of the page um, let me just grab a regular piece of copier paper just to put over the top and I'm just going to try and get some colour and I'm going to press down quite hard um, to try and get some really nice coverage on that background. So really pressing just because mine is so pitted. If you're using a regular jelly plate, um, you wouldn't get any of the lumps and bumps that, um, that you'll see I will probably um, end up with, but I just thought this would give me some really nice texture how gorgeous um, is that? Isn't that beautiful? Now, I've got um, some of my wisteria, um, just the, the foliage from my wisteria from my garden. And what I am going to do, let's see if I can um, get this to fit. Let me just move my mat um, along. I don't want to unpeel my jelly plate. I am just going to add some white paint um, over the top of, of that. How is best to do this? Right, okay, so I'm just going to put some white paint down on my plastic um, mat here and I'm just going to roll up my jelly my um, brayer and apply that all over the leaves Oop. these are really delicate so you've got to be careful if you decide to do this kind of thing but I just think this will give a really nice effect right okay so i've done that and then i'm going to have to work quickly let me just move that back out of the way so again i'm just going to put some more of those paints onto my background not too much of the um colors this time i'm going to use more white so that it's slightly slightly lighter and then pick up the white that's already on my table, why, why waste it, and um, mix those together as I did before. And roll this all over, like that. And then I'm going to place my leaf down. So let's make sure that um, I've got these as I want them. This is a bit um, fiddly and I hope this is going to work. Another one of um, Nina's harebrained ideas. And then I am going to take my sheet and how shall I do this? Place it over like, like that and grab another piece of paper and rub it over the top and let's see what we what we end up with if it turns out to be a complete and utter disaster I can always paint over it and um, and do something else but you know nothing ventured nothing gained as they as they say so I'm really rubbing down again to make sure I get a really good um, impression that should um, that should do it and keep your fingers crossed Oh, 
or just look how pretty that is and very very quickly before the paint dries um, I'm just going to see if I can get a pull from this one here green fly by the by the looks of it very subtle but how pretty is that and whilst I've got the paint on this one um, here let me just move this over again I'm just going to stick this down and see if we can get um, anything from from that too and look at the gorgeous paint on the back of that leaf as well I'm going to see if I can think of something I can do with them um, with that too beautiful There we go, grab another piece of paper and let's press down on that and um, just see what we can get if, um, if anything. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now whilst I've still got um, all of that paint on there, I'm just going to add a bit of white and let's see if we can get um, a pull, pull of that. I'm just going to spread that around with my, with my finger. Messy, messy, messy um, today. I've got um, wipes and tissues absolutely everywhere. Let's see if we can pull any of this up. fingers crossed another piece of paper in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the on the back here another piece of paper over the over the top and let's just see I'm really pressing hard here and this might not work but um, if it doesn't that's um, that's okay I love that that's beautiful Well, you can't see the leaf, but um, what a pretty background um, regardless. I just love that. And it's picked up some of the colours that were on the jelly print, on the jelly plate beforehand. Um, I think I want to try and get some more paint down, down here. Uh, not so much. And so this time I just want to see if I can get um, a darker leaf. I'm going that my leaf is very fragile now. Um, I've just tried to do this and it, it didn't work because I put the leaf the wrong way up, stupid girl. So I'm just going to put some paint. You can see how fragile it is all over um, this side of my leaf. I've got a mixture of three different colours here. I've got the white one on the on the one side of the piece, and I just want a slightly darker one for contrast on the other on the other side. So I just thought rather than using my brayer, which will probably stick to everything, I'll apply the paint with my with my finger. And so I am just going to apply my leaf um, this way round this time. Oh, I've forgotten to put the paint on. And I'm just going to put um, some lighter colours down. Mix that um, around with my fingers. And then just put the leaf on the top this way up this time. Now it's really fragile so I'm just going to have to be um, careful and keep your fingers crossed. Let's see um, if this works. Let me just dry my hands first. So, oh gosh, the stress! Pop that there and then a piece of paper over the top and let's see if this has worked. Oh, I do hope so. Look at the state of me. <laughs> Each week goes by, I seem to get messier and messier and messier. Oh, take a sneak peek. Let's have a... Oh, 
yes, it's worked, it's worked. Oh, just look at that. Just look how beautiful that is. I just love it so much. Woohoo! Now, whilst that paint is still wet, I'm just going to see if I can get um, any more from, from this. You never know. Oh, just look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful. And let's see if we can get um, anything from that print there too. In fact, yeah, let's try it there like that. And then I can put some white paint over the top of it um, as well. So much more texture though from this than I would have achieved if I'd have used my commercial plate. Now I don't know whether you can see, but I've just um, placed my painted leaf on a piece of parchment paper, which I'm just going to fold over. And I'm going to take this to my ironing board and I'm just going to dry this just so that I can use it for another project. Okie dokie, so I've dried my flower using my ironing board. Um, I put it in between the pieces of parchment paper and just ironed no steam um, for about three or four minutes and now that is dry. Um, so I've got myself a piece of watercolour paper because I want to preserve my leaf so I'm going to have to be really gentle with this. I'm flipping it over and I am just going to apply a little bit of glue. Um, this is Fabri-Tac here which is acid free. Um, so I'm just going to apply some to the back of my leaf. This is just to secure my leaf in place. Um, and you'll see what I'm going to do in a second. You will need either tissue paper um, or um, deli wrap as I'm using for this. I've um, got a video where I show you how to preserve um, press flowers, um, which I'll leave again in the, the description box below. So be really gentle with this because it is fragile. Um, and I think, now the good thing about Fabri-Tac, you can see there that um, I've dragged some of the glue across my page. That's fine, it will just rub off. There we go, so that's, that's that. You can see that it's hanging off the page there. I just need to snip, snip that. So I'm going to snip that about there. There we go, just so that um, I've got even spacing top and bottom. So then I've got some Mod Podge and this is Mod Podge matte. I'm just going to put um, just a little bit in my little container here and I'm going to water this down slightly. So let me just move, move that out of the um, way. So I'm just going to spray that with just a little bit of water just to thin it down ever so um, slightly and of course, you know, give that um, a, good, a good mix. And then I am just going to add some of my glue to this piece of deli paper. So quite a generous amount. Let me just see how much I need. Let me put that there just so that I can see for, for size. Just make sure I've got no bits on my piece. And then I'm just going to place this face down on the deli paper like that. And then I am going to fold my paper over. Get rid of any glue on that side because you don't, you don't need it. Fold that over, you don't need any glue on the other side. It's just providing you with something to rub your deli paper down with without getting glue all over your, your hands. So I'm just rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Am I in frame? Let's see if I can just move this over, over slightly. So there we go concentrating on rubbing down on those edges and then I can flip it, flip it over. Let's get rid of any glue on that side there. And I'm going to take another piece of, of deli paper and I'm just going to rub on the other side. Just concentrating on these veins because you want to make sure that you know it's all stuck down and you've got no air bubbles. And then I'm just going to peel that up and then it's just a case of leaving that be now to dry. So then as soon as your glue is dry, you can just trim around the um, edges. And I just think that's just a fabulous way of preserving leaves and flowers and things. Here we go, we can peel it off the um, back 
now and of course you know that deli paper by sandwiching it like this it's just protected the back of my piece of uh, watercolour paper as well. Now this has been drying for oh I don't know 40 minutes or so um, and you can see that any of the wrinkles I had um, whilst the glue was still wet have now gone it's just flattened out really really nicely. Now just to make it more stylized, I want to add some doodles so I've got um, this hexagon pen here this is the now what make is this it's a Japanese Muji pen um, and this writes on pretty much most things so I'm just going to go um, around it just with some loose scribbly um, doodles I might even add some um, white to this so that's how it looks after I've added some um, black scribbly lines so I'm just going to do the same thing now with the white and this is just a jelly roll pen it just makes it look a bit more um, whimsical I want something gold so I'm going to use this piece of packaging um, it contains some socks and so I'm just going to cut myself a tag I've got my small jelly plate um, I was obviously doing something black the last time I used it but that's okay so I'm just going to put a small amount of two shades of the turquoise come on out you come so there we go, that will do. And then just blend that with my with my brayer. There we are. Just get rid of get rid of that. And then I've got um, a leaf. This is from um, a rhododendron um, bush. Um, no, it's not. Hydrangeas, what am I talking about? And I'm going to um, use this to have a stamped image and I'm going to use the veiny side. So I'm just going to press that down like that and then I need a piece of paper to put over the top to take the rest of the paint um, away. So I'm making sure that I'm getting um, inside the veins just removing as much of that paint around the leaf as I can and if I've got a little bit there then you know that's that doesn't matter and then I am going to stamp onto my piece of card so again I want um, a piece of paper I've got some deli paper actually here so pop that down and then I'm going to go over the top of it and again sort of you know really press press that down and I'm going to take a pull of this one here in a second right okay keep your fingers crossed so I'm going to pull that up and there we go that is just the first layer so I just need um, a piece of paper for this let me just go and find something now I always keep scrap pieces of cardstock underneath my desk so I'm just going to use this here I think this is cartridge paper and again I'm just going to make sure that I press really firmly and then I'm going to do the same thing again with some gold. So here we go. I think gold and turquoise just work so beautifully together. And of course, it will really match what um, I've got going on in the background as well. So let me just see if I can pop this back down in the same kind of um, position. There we go, that will do. There's that piece of deli paper. I think that's a different sheet, but that's okay. Move that out of the way for a second and try and remove all of this paint from around the background or as much of it as I, as I can. And then I'm going to, in fact, I want to add just a, no, I don't. Let me just um, try and add this in the same place. Hello, Louis. And again, I just want to oh, press down. I love stamping with, with leaves. 
oh just look how gorgeous that is isn't that beautiful now I want to stamp over that existing um, impression so I'm going to try and line it up see if I can do this think about there so flip it over and rub it down we'll see if this works oh I think that's really pretty now I want slightly more gold oh a globby slightly more gold um, on my tag here so I'm just going to pick up some paint from the gel plate <coughs> oh excuse me and go straight over the leaf like this if I can get it to stay in place that is in fact it might be better if I have it this way round and hold it a bit more paint I think I might add some with my finger I can't get in to the awkward places add some on the stalk as well the stem right move that out of the way and then I've got to try not to make a mess of this right another piece of paper that will do and see what we've got here and I'm hoping that this will will do it and then I want to try and preserve this leaf as well keep your fingers crossed oh that's better look how gorgeous that is now I just want to try and stabilize this slightly it's just a bit flimsy and so all the bits and pieces that I want to tuck in are falling out so I've got a piece of scratch cardboard here and I'm going to glue this on the top so I'm just going to use a Pritt stick to do that and as soon as I've done that I'll come back so I'm just starting to assemble my pages and you can see that I've trimmed this down ever so slightly just to make the image more symmetrical and I'm inking around the edges just in some stays on in teal blue. I'm only doing the top and the bottom because of course these will be slotted into the folder so you won't see them anyway um, and then we'll start um, assembling. So let's have a look and see what we can do with this. So I'm just going to slot this in here like this, which as I say, will just stabilize um, my pouch, my folder, and obviously just make it look a bit more interesting as well. So there we go. Look how beautiful that is. I love that. Um, and then let me just grab the rest of the pieces. Now, here's the folder and you can see that I've just added some book binding tape to the center of um, this page here just because it was starting to tear just at the edges and this is what this looks like um, I really like this it's just book binding tape but it's quite strong um, and of course it goes with the brown packaging paper as well so that's going to go in there like that um, and what I'm really enjoying about this is concentrating on tying sort of all the elements and all the colours to together um, so last week's piece is going to go in here like like this then of course I've got the um, leaves that's just going to tuck in there like that um, the leaf that I was stamping with for this piece here I've put into a plastic pouch again um, this is just from um, a business security tag that um, Stephen my husband had and he saves all of these for me and I've just um, sewn across the top just to seal it in just to preserve my leaf um, I think I prefer it on that side there I painted the back as well just to tie it together that's just where I was stamping with the leaf for this piece here um, so that's going to tuck into there like that and I think that's pretty much all the elements that I've made um, for this week that was so much fun but this I just absolutely love it I just think it's beautiful so let me show you all the um, leftover pieces that um, I've accumulated this week along the way so here are the mop up and wipe off prints and you know that some of these are really pretty and I could make some lovely greetings cards with some of these that was where I sandwiched the leaf when I was pressing it to preserve it um, you know we've got some nice impressions here 
you know some I don't know what I shall do with um, this I think is my favorite one this is just so textured um, now let me just bring in my homemade jelly plate this is how I keep mine how I store it um, just in a cookie tray um, and you can see that um, it's shrunk away from the sides of the tin um, I think it's just because it hasn't got the preservative um, agents that a commercial jelly plate would have and that's probably why um, it's become so pitted now if we have a look at the other side that is um, you know completely smooth so if I wanted the same kind of um, texture as a commercial jelly plate I could use the other side um, I keep thinking about melting mine because if I chopped it up and put it in the microwave I could melt it and pour it back into the tin but I just really like the texture that I get from from this and this is just a piece of parchment paper that I just keep over the top just to stop it getting covered in dust um, now I enjoy using my homemade jelly plate just as much as I do the commercial one so you know that is just my um, opinion so here we go here's the rest of the mop-up print so you know lots of projects to um lots of papers to use for future projects and this is just where i've been rolling off my brayer I made my jelly plate about four years ago, by the way, using um, Lindsay Wyrick, the frugal crafter's recipe. So I'll leave the link to her video in the description box below in case anybody wants to have a go at making their own. Um, so I hope you enjoyed um, my video today. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed putting more pieces together for my junk journal. So a quick flip. Here we go. This is what it's looking like so far. I think that's as much as I've done that direction and of course I've got all these lovely pages going in the opposite direction as well and this is just an eclectic mix of you know projects that I have been making over the weeks since January so I'm just really really enjoying this um, so I look forward to seeing what everybody else decides to do for this week's um, repurpose re recycle reuse um, stroke usual scraps um, prompt um, you know interpret it in any way you like and if you enjoyed my video this week as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up and do let me know what you think in the comments below so take care everyone thanks ever so much for watching see you all again soon